Hello Tab Nation, it's Tom, and today we're going to be talking about Chrome OS Flex. It's a new operating system, at least at the time of filming this video, it just came out in the second quarter of 2022. If you're familiar with Chromebooks, you're familiar with the Chrome OS. The difference is with Flex, you can actually install it on pretty much any computer made in the last 15 years. That includes a Mac, Linux, or Windows-based operating system computer. The operating system is basically it's web-based, which is what makes it so smooth and lightweight. It's Linux-based also, which is great. The one thing that's really different between this version versus a Chromebook version is that you cannot install the Play Store or Android apps. As far as minimum requirements go for the PC that you are going to be installing this on, you need either a Intel or AMD x84 64 cpu you need at least four gigabytes of ram 16 gigabytes on the hard drive obviously you're probably going to want a little bit more than that in case you're going to be saving stuff and you do need access to the bios if you're doing this on a work computer it's important to point that out because you might not have access to that or have the ability to make any changes in there. So it really depends kind of on your company policy there, but most likely you're going to be using this for personal use. If you're like me, I have a few old laptops that are laying around, even some that are from like 15 years ago. I plan to install those on there just to bring new life to my old computers. So the first thing we're going to do, which obviously this will be in the description below, we're going to jump over to the Chrome Web Store and get Chromebook Recovery Utility. You can obviously just Google that or follow the link below. I already have it installed on my computer on Chrome. I'm going to go ahead and remove that because once you're done this, you don't really need it. So that's good to point out, but it should say add to Chrome. We're going to click that. It's going to ask us, are we sure? We're just going to say yes, add extension. It only takes a few seconds and we'll get a pop-up letting us know that it has been added. So go ahead and close that. If it does not appear right here as an extension, just click the little puzzle piece to get a drop down. And there is our Chrome recovery utility. So go ahead and launch that. Now you are going to need either a SD card or a USB drive, depending on what your computer can take, but at least eight gigabytes of space need to be on there, not free, but total. So go ahead and push get started. It's going to ask to identify your Chromebook. We're just going to select this little link right here that says select a model from a list. And we're going to, for manufacturer, we're going to scroll down till we find that operating system, Google Chrome OS Flex. Click that. As far as the product goes, at filming right now, there is only one option, which is developer unstable. Like I said, this only just came out a few days ago. As time goes on, I'm sure more options are going to appear. Eventually, it's going to go out of developer versions and it's going to have stable versions just pick the most current stable one once those start appearing if you are unsure you can always google to see what is the most current version and i'm assuming that they'll probably do this in order so whatever the top stable version is most likely going to be the new one i can't imagine them doing it alphabetized i can definitely see them doing it in order by version but once that happens, I'll let you know in the comments below with a pinned comment letting you know, you know, what route they took there. Go ahead and click continue. Now, here's where you're going to need to make sure your SD or USB is plugged in. If it isn't, this menu will not appear until you do that. I already have my USB in there. So I'm going to go ahead and select that right here. Go ahead, push continue. Basically, we're just getting a warning here saying that we're going to delete all the data that is on the USB. So make sure you have no importance documents or whatever on there. So go ahead and push create now. And this will take about a minute, really, depending on your computer. So I'm going to go ahead, pause right here, and I'll be right back once this is all done. It's just doing a download. It's going to unpack it and then basically install everything onto the USB or SD card for us to be ready and we're back so on the first computer i wanted to point out something i had said at the beginning of this video that it should only take a few minutes 
on my gaming computer, which is, you know, very powerful. I had a different USB, a much newer one. It did only take about four minutes to do, but on the computer that I'm currently recording, it actually took about 20 minutes. I was using an older computer and a much older USB. So just keep that in mind that depending on your PC specs, what kind of USB and stuff you're using, your time may vary. So once we're done, we're gonna get this success. Your recover media is ready. We can go ahead and unplug that now unless we're going to be using it on this computer that you currently have it plugged in in which case you just leave it in now at any point maybe once you're done this whole process you don't really need the usb anymore you want to use it for normal use to put files and pictures on whatnot just open this again and with the little gearbox here you can actually push erase recover media and that will restore it back to being a usable actual media usb or sd card we're going to go ahead and push done here and the next thing we need to do is go ahead and plug it into the computer that you're going to be using if it's the one that you did this recovery utility on just leave it plugged in go ahead restart your computer unfortunately i cannot show you this because i would lose the ability to record my desktop so i have some screenshots for you to walk you along the ways now depending on your computer once it starts t start uh booting up you need to push either one of these keys here to get into the bootable menu so if you're using a gateway it's f1 acer intel toshiba it's f2 hp f9 f12 for dell lenovo and toshiba also and option key for apple delete for us if those don't work it usually does appear at the bottom when it's booting up to let you know what it is, but these are kind of the standards for these company brands. So once we get into that, you're gonna have a screen that looks something like this. Every computer can look a little different. On mine, it is blue. Sometimes it's a different color, but you'll just have the menu or the media drives, hard drives, all that kind of stuff listed there. Obviously, I'm going to be sitting there picking the USB one. It's the only one that's plugged in, so it's pretty easy to pick out. And that's just going to say launch using the USB instead. Once you do that, you're going to be welcomed with the Cloud Ready 2.0. So all you're going to do is click that Get Started button at the bottom. Make sure your language is correct, which it should just pull from the system. Our next screen is going to give us two options here. We're going to have install Cloud Ready 2.0 or whatever version it is at the time of you watching this video. When we do that, that is actually going to erase our original operating system, any files or anything that is on our hard drive. So keep that in mind. This would be a permanent install, meaning every time I turn my computer on, it's automatically going to boot into the Chrome OS Flex operating system. But if you just want to play around with this, give it a try, see how it works on your computer first. You can click that try it first button under that. And that's going to keep your original operating system. It's going to boot into basically almost like a demo mode, I guess you could call it, just to see if you like it. It's something you want to make permanent. Obviously, if you restart your computer and you don't go into the BIOS to launch off the USB, you're just going to go back into your normal operating system, whether it's uh, Mac or Windows. Uh, once you kind of go through that, it's going to do you know the install or loading, depending on which option you pick. You're going to be presented with the UR Set screen. Go ahead, push that Get Started button, and we will be introduced to our new operating desktop of Chrome OS. If you guys have any questions, want me to expand on this, or running into any difficulties, definitely let me know in the comments below. I'll try to help you as best as I can. This is just such a great thing for Chrome to release because it's just going to add a lot of new life to a few laptops I have sitting around that just are kind of useless. They'll be great for taking to work, for little things, you know, just browsing the web, that kind of stuff. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, throwing two to three videos out to you every single week, mostly doing with automation, but I do like to branch out from time to time. It's an example for this video. All right, everybody, have a great day, 
hit that thumbs button. Bye.